everyone this is build video number six and as you can see the bike's finally finished so i'll shortly be going across to p3 tuning where we'll run the bike in to see what power figure the bike finally makes so this build series has all been about modifying the engine but i will be doing a follow-up walk around video where i'll show all the mods that i've done to the bike so stay tuned for that we're back over at p3 tuning john's going to take us through all the setup now for getting this running we've put the larger carbs on there so 900 rr carbs and obviously ben's done all the tuning work which you've seen in the previous video so john just just explain then what we're going to have to do obviously it's a brand new engine isn't it yeah so basically we're, we're going to do the running in and everything but we obviously referencing what we did last year yeah so this is where we start from so that's our, our start line so we know we had 49.48 yeah. And the fueling wasn't amazing, it wasn't terrible, it's just a little bit rich in places. Obviously yeah. that is completely irrelevant really, the fueling wise, because of how many changes have been made. And it is, whoo, it's tasty <laughs> this now. So with everything that's done to it, the engine is completely fresh, it's got no miles on it. So the way the braking procedure works, which is really critical, is to make sure that we put a little bit of load on the motor. Yeah. Reason why we've got to put load on the motor is to get the rings to really seal. So we are forcing a little bit of pressure onto the piston rings to get them to dig into the actual cylinder walls to get them to seal properly. Once we put a little bit of load on it, now we'll progressively build this up. We'll do about three three cycles of about 15 minute runs with increasing pressure and increasing revs. That should basically get the engine there or thereabouts ran in. Then at the same time, we're gonna be checking the fueling and seeing if we need to make any adjustments while we're going. This engine's been completely blown right apart. So we wanna make sure that gearbox is all working sweet. It pulls nicely, it doesn't leak any oil, all of that good stuff as well. So that's that's the plan, um, and we're just going to dig into it now. But it is so nice. <laughs> I mean, this is easy, the best CB500 I've ever seen, and I've seen a lot of CB500. <laughs> it's got brake up. What? That is mental. Love it. Totally over the top. <laughs> Why not? I mean, it is nice, uh, and it's on the road as well. Yep. Wow. So let's get into doing some runs, make some noise. Right, so we've done all of the basically engine bedding in runs, which is kind of boring. Um, and now we're going to go into the full power runs and see where we're gaining. But the fueling's pretty good. We've not even had to make any fueling adjustments, which is quite nice. So we're literally going to do some big runs and hopefully we'll be happy in a minute. So we've just done the first power run. I'll wait before I share the final figure, but we're just gonna whip these carbs off and adjust some of the jetting on there, see if we can pull more power out the bike. Jets have changed, so we've got, we've only gone up five. Now it's cold today, it's only 10 degrees. So we've got to kind of factor in that it's gonna be warmer when this is gonna run, yep. which means if we fuel it for the temperature that it is today, it's probably gonna to be too rich. We do need this to be a bit richer right now, because right now we don't want to be into the 14s needs to be in the mid 13s. So we've just gone five over and we're gonna see how much of an impact that makes and see what power we get. We might pick up another brake horsepower. Ooh, come on. We tried a thing, the thing didn't work. So we basically went to a 157.5. Now the thing with jets is, unless you've got the exact same manufacturer jets, sometimes you'll find that they don't trim the exact same amount. So 
a 155. If we were looking at this and it was a 152.5 and we went up, say manufactured a jet, yeah. it should have just pulled it down to so about here, a five change. But unfortunately it hasn't. It's been a bit more pronounced than that. So now it's it's too rich. Now we're at 12, 12 twos, which is too rich now. So we've had to go back and because we've got limited amount of this size jet, because the massive, which isn't the standard size jet in for a CB500, it's actually way over because it's got modified CBR900RR carbs. It basically means that we don't have the jet in to be able to do this. So we may order them in and then we'll get it back in and then recheck it. Yeah. But for now, we've put the original jet size back in, which is the 152.5. And then we'll just do a final set of runs now just to see what the overall performance is and then we'll let you know. Okay, so all sorted. As I say, we, we are gonna address the fact that it is still a little bit lean. We actually wanna pull this down a touch. Yeah. But, Drum roll, please. Um, 63.6, so well into the 60s, which is mega. All. And most of the powers we made in the mid-range, wasn't it, on yeah. this? Yeah. So there you go. So you can see, this is your torque figure here, and then this is the power. So before, we were at, what's that, like 37 foot-pound of torque? No, 29 foot-pound of torque. Now we're at 37 foot-pound of torque. That's massive. And then it's just, it's a different beast altogether when you get going. So as soon as you're at 8,000 revs, I mean, the gain starts to just be a little bit ridiculous. Whoa! Done a good job, Ben. Really good, really good. And bear in mind, we've only done three sets of heat cycles on this. Right now, what's happening, the tire's getting soft and it's sticking to the drum. So you're losing that energy, having to peel itself back away. If we had that rock hard tire on there, you wouldn't be losing there. And it'd be another two or three break up. So we're at 63, nearly 64. You're probably talking like 66. Nothing's been done to the bottom end of it. And it's only had head work, slightly different bigger bore carbs and then an airbox delete that is mega and it's really smooth so you can see before you had this drop away it, that's a lot flatter now yeah, yeah so you don't have the same dip in power at the bottom yeah it's just going to pick up nicely as well ah, it? yeah it does it feels really colors. crisp Woo. yeah you'd be scaring some big boys on some super bikes now <laughs> yeah. I just want to say a massive thanks to BCR Performance and P3 TuneIn. It's been a huge project that's lasted the entire year and I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So make sure you check out their social channels for dyno work, tuning and engine builds. So in the next video, I'll take you through in detail all the mods that I've done to the bike. There's quite a lot, so you won't want to miss it. See you next time.